Hi, my name is Fergal and I am a Wella educator and today I'm going to take you through how to create this beautiful ash blonde look using Wellaplex and Illumina Colour. So this is my beautiful model Amelia and our starting point is a natural depth of a 5 stroke O and her mid lengths and ends have been previously lightened in a balayage technique. She likes how it is low maintenance and how the grow out is soft and seamless. But she wants to be a little bit brighter and ashier throughout, especially closer to the roots. So we sectioned her hair off into six sections, a rectangle at the top and at the back, and then two sections at each side. We started our process at the back of the head, taking horizontal slices in the back section. To make sure that this look was just as low maintenance as Amelia's previous balayage, we did an air touch technique. This involves using our GHD hair dryer to remove any baby hairs out of the way so that they will remain uncolored. This is a really simple way of getting a beautiful blended root so the look is low maintenance. I used my hair dryer and ran it down the shaft of the hair two to three times, then used my finger to separate the baby hairs so that they will remain uncolored. I then used my foiling board to paint the hair to ensure even saturation of the bleach throughout. I used Blondor Plex with 6% and painted directly onto the natural regrowth area and then used a feathering technique to blend the colour upwards. Once I had painted the regrowth area, I used a small piece of foil underneath and then weaved out any darker areas in the mid length. What I don't want to do is colour over the previously lightened hair and cause any damage. And doing this will help to lighten those darkened areas and ensure that we don't cause any damage to the previously lightened areas. Taking another piece of foil, I inserted between the darker midband and the previously lightened areas. This is going to give me a flat surface to paint onto so I can lift the darker areas of the midband and avoid putting bleach on any previously lightened areas. I place another piece of foil over the top of this and then repeat throughout the rest of the head, working in horizontal sections so I can keep my work nice and clean. My model Amelia wanted maximum lift and impact around the hairline and she's happy to return in four to six weeks to have this redone and have her mid lengths and ends toned. So I painted straight onto the scalp using Blondroplex and 6% being careful to avoid the previously lightened areas. Amelia's colour was developed for 45 minutes, of course checking visually to make sure that we achieved the desired level of lift for the ash blonde look, which is a pale yellow, around the depth of a 9. We removed the foils once we had achieved the desired level of lift, and then we rinsed the hair off before applying our Wellaplex number 2 for 10 minutes at the backwash. Using the combination of Blondorplex and Wellaplex number two at the backwash ensures that we are getting the maximum amount of lift while still caring for the client's hair. Once this was rinsed off, then I shampoo twice using Color Motion Plus Shampoo and Blondor Seal and Care to antioxidize all of the bleach in the hair and create the perfect canvas for toning. To achieve the beautiful ashy tone on Amelia's hair, I chose to work with Illumina Colour, shades 9 stroke 60 and 6 stroke 19. That extra kick of depth in there is going to help to knock out any warmth in Amelia's hair. I applied first to the mid lengths and ends to the previously lightened areas, where the hair is a little bit older and takes a bit longer for the toner to develop, and then applied it onto the root area. Illumina Colour is based on a violet chassis or carrier tone. Sometimes when toning with blondes, you can see this lavender hue appear. Avoid rinsing the product out too early. It's just a sign that the toner is doing its job. I also used a little bit of 7 stroke 3 one along Amelia's hairline to stop it looking too bright and glary. And as you can see here, after I rinse the product out, it all blends beautifully. 
After rinsing, I used Invigo Service Color Post Treatment to antioxidize and lock in that beautiful tone in Amelia's hair. I blow dried using IME Thermal Image and Oil Reflections Luminous Light Oil. This is my perfect combination for styling blondes. IME Thermal Image provides heat protection and Luminous Light Oil provides shine, softness and suppleness for heat styling the hair also. I created soft beachy waves moving away from the face by using my GHD Classic Curl Tong, working from the root downwards to create this softer end on the hair. I finished off the style by combing it through with a wide tooth comb and applying some Mystify Me light hairspray as well as Glam Mist for shine. I think you'll agree the soft beachy waves really show off all of the highs and lows in this colour. When creating an ash blonde look, the most important factor is to ensure that you have the right level of lift. To achieve the most beautiful ash blonde result, you must first assess the lift of your blonde. In this case, we lifted to the depth of a nine, a pale yellow undertone. The toner that we chose to work with was on the depth of a nine and also had a violet tone. The violet will neutralize all the yellow tones on the depth of a nine and provide us with this beautiful ashy blonde result. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please leave a comment below and tell us what you thought. Like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.